Shalom, Shalom, Kal Hala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Name is only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets of Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles and the head bishops of Great Millstone who teach them real well. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad. All right, in this video, this is coming from a movie called Armor, um, After Armageddon. I saw that one of the brothers from, from the Great Millstone camp, of um, his name is Amwan Bar. he posted um, a short video going into, going into, the, going into this movie. And, and um, I went and watched it. I'm still watching. I got like 25 minutes left, and it's you know it's it's kind of it's more of a documentary, Salafia, but it's very edifying. Now this video I had originally had auto to it, it had auto audio to it, but for some reason it where I got it from the the platform it didn't let me get the audio. So I'm gonna just touch on you know what the people are saying, which the audio was great, but at the end of the day, it's a reason why they didn't let me get it because it, it probably would have striked this video if. I did have the audio on there, okay. So we're gonna just I'm gonna just pl play play this um a, 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 a scene from this movie or this documentary and grab a couple of scriptures to um you know show you you know through a spiritual lens of what's coming, okay. After a collapse, okay, in America is very well on the verge of a great global or of a great national collapse, which is ultimately this this collapse will will, will be global. Because these elites are trying to bring in a new world order. All right, they want to bring in a new world order. So to do that, they must collapse the society, the world, the order that already is. Okay, they have something called order out of chaos. Okay, so before this is all over with, America is going to be in a in a state of total chaos. Okay, in this clip, I'm going to put I'm going to put a description in the description box. Go watch this movie. The reason why I'm really doing this video is for at, at, um. Um, you know, a warning, you know, to go watch, you know, and, 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 and I would say, you know, advice, you know, or um, a suggestion to go watch this movie, man. You know, like I said, I'll put the link in the description box below. But let's go ahead and let this clip play and I'll grab a couple of scriptures. See that? Now this man just left his family home to go find food because they ran out of food. Okay, and they were sheltering in place, and they had um eventually ran out of food. You know, his wife has just been a total demon. You know, um making things harder. His son, you know, is is has been a demon as well. You know, the man the man is catching hell, in a time of of already been in hell. Okay, and you can expect this. You know, expect you know to be tried in the times we're coming into. But this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter two. Verse 13, go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Okay, so we believe, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, that this is all coming to an end for our salvation. Okay, that the Lord is going to bring this world as we know it to a total end. Okay, so that we can, Lord willing, be saved. Okay. And before before we before our before our, our kingdom can be established. This world and this kingdom must be destroyed. Okay, this is why you're going to see America collapsing in the, in the way that in, in the way that it's collapsing. All right. Um. So like you so right here he he he's going into in, into this store and he's seeing that all the food is gone. Okay, all the um, you know, and this, and at this point it's been weeks, but the, and then the, the narrator is saying after three um days he remember when he was um um helping out in Katrina after three days. You know, um, all the food, you know, he said it was a crazy sight to go into a Walmart and see everything completely gone. He said dog food, toys, you know, um, um, makeup, you know, furniture, everything was completely wiped out of the stores because people, people, people are going to be looting. OK, the, through, during the first, what, three days of a global pandemic where everything shuts down. OK, a global um, um, uh, economic collapse where your, your money has no value anymore. Okay, where the lights get shut off, all right? People are going to raid the stores.
This is the book of Second uh, Ezra, chapter six, verse twenty-two. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And you see this man's face; he's shocked, man. He's he, you know, he's he, he, he looking perplexed and confused. You know what the hell? You know, and us as as you know people that that has been here, you know, <laughs> in America. You know, so long been raised here. You, you know, you can't imagine really going into a store and, not, and seeing empty shelves like, like in such great, you know, fashion of, of the way we, we're about to see it. So it's going to be, you know, shocking. Okay, so it says, and suddenly, so when you when you least expect it, all of Salakia, so it says, Second Ezra chapter six verse twenty three, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand stand like you. Shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. And the springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. The water's not going to run. Okay, it's hey, man, you're going to see a total shutdown. We're going to see the total collapse of, of a whole society in our lifetimes, man. Not in our you know, and in our children's lifetime and their children's lifetime, in our lifetimes, we're going to see this, man. And, and, and it's already begun. We are, we are already seeing it. We're already seeing the beginning stages of it. They're telling you of food shortages and blackouts. They're telling you what's coming. They're giving you a heads up. And they're really talking to their people because they know that Jake ain't listening. You know, when they put them articles out, they, 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 know, they know Jake ain't, you know, paying attention to what's going on. They're they too busy trying to figure out, you know, who who, who going to win a Grammy, you know, what uh, 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 Will Smith you going to say about slapping Chris? All types of madness, man. You see? But they put this stuff out because they're still giving you a warning, letting you know what's coming. And they're not lying to you. All right? You see, the store is completely, totally emptied out. You know, so you realize, okay, I can't get, get nothing here. Then he goes goes in to say how you know after that you know after after the stores were, were run out you're gonna see you he he you wanna hear automatic weapons all throughout the city and he accounts of when he was in you know in the time when he was you know helping out around uh, in or during the time of Katrina you know when the hurricane Katrina I can't even say it right now Salakia so um hit um he he was there to help and he said they was hearing uh, automatic weapons going off all around the city okay he was showing you that people was what looting. All right, and this is the this is the time that we're coming into all over again. Prepare your minds, prepare your spirits for what we're we about to, you know, have to go through and see, endure, you know, all for the spirit of Yahweh Shimon Shai. This is what the Lord called us into this faith to serve and and and, and 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 to do His will, so that when this time comes, Lord willing, we can be delivered from this time that that we're seeing, you know, coming. So you're seeing gangs looting houses, okay, whole gangs. You're going to see gangs looting houses. And he said how the gangs were two blocks away, you know, from, from, from his house, going door to door, checking every house. You see, they're going door to door, checking every house. People are going to click up, okay. So pretty soon, you know, you're not going to be able to just stay in your house. They're going to come to your house, and, you know, these gangs, when they get in your house, they're going to be taking your food, your water, your medicine, you know, all your, um, you know, they, they, they may even try to take you. Or your children, or your women, and kill you, whatever, man. And, and right there, you see him, you know, straying and stuff all over the um, front yard, and she's, you know, losing her mind. Those are clean clothes. Those are clean clothes, and he's just throwing all types of stuff out because he wanted to look like the house was already looted. <laughs> this is the times we're coming into. You're gonna have to make your house a little, little like it was already looted, like somebody already ran through your house. You're gonna have to destroy your house. <laughs> you know, destroy your own house. Okay. It says, "Whosoever remaineth." Uh, from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. We, you know, we pray that we see, you know, salvation, okay, the salvation of our Lord, you know, the strangeness of their salvation, could what, to be delivered from all this hell that's coming, ultimately those thermonuclear missiles, and this is before the missiles even hit, okay, it says, in the end of your world, we're going to see the end, hey, hey, man, we're about to see the end of our world, man. This world as we know it, you know, the world that you grew up in, the world you know all your whole life, where we we are witnessing the end of this world, man, the end of an era, the, the end of a rulership, 
okay? So right now he's saying, I don't know what, what, what we should do. She said that she's saying that we should leave. She's been saying that they should leave, that they should go, they should go. You know, he's saying that I, I, that we should leave, and she, and he and she said, um, he said he don't think so. He thinks they should stay still. And he said that, and the kid came in just now, and he said, no, we should go. I, th I, th I think we should go. And he said, why? He said, because somebody's breaking in the house next door. Okay, people were breaking into the house next door. <laughs> you see? This is why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is to be feared, okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is to be feared because soon it's going to be your house getting, get, getting bro bro broken into, man. Okay, let me grab that real quick. Like I said, I'm, I'm just touching on, you know, with what, you, what you see on the screen. You know, showing you the spiritual, you know, and, uh, you know, um, the, the, the reality, you know, of, uh, 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 of these images you see in playing across the screen. You know, and filtering up, filtering them through the scriptures. Okay, so let's go back. Let me go, go, go right here. It says, um, because hey, what did he see? You know, what did he see? This is what he saw, man. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse fourteen. Woe to the world and to them that dwell therein. It's going to be great destruction out here, man. This whole world is going to be uh, sorely per per perplexed. We're, we're, like I said, we're, it, we're, we're, we're witnessing the, the end of a rulership, the end of this world as we know it. It says, for the sword and their destruction draw off nine, which is what that um, that, that uh, gun, you know, people, you know, destruction. Esau with, 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 with his, you know, his martial law, his Gurgur troops. And then you got also your, your damn... You know, your, your, your uh, neighborhood gangs and cliques, you know, and then even your neighbors are going to turn into, you know, their own little, little militias going from door to door, checking your houses out. It's going to get bad out here. It says, for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. But they're going to be fighting over food, you know, <laughs> in these stores, going crazy, looting. All right. It, we, we come, we're coming into this time. It says... And there shall be sedition among us. us um, so I, let me go back up. Fifteen, and the sword sh and the destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall st shall fight against another with and swords in their hands. Okay, weapons in their hands, and there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They're gonna be invading one another. You see how they just ran through through through, through, through this house? They taking TVs and stuff. The, the electricity, is, you know, is, is um, going out, man. But they take electricity, you know, TVs, some they can bar um, bargain off just in case things go back, you know, or come back, which is not, okay? <laughs> Verse 16, for there shall be a sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. They're going to be doing whatever they want to do, man. They ain't going to be thinking about getting arrested or the, the cops coming or you know, going to just, just stand before a judge. You know, they're going to be, you know, okay, I'm hungry. I need to eat. I need to feed my family. You know, oh, this is nice. I want it. I'm going to take it. You know, you're going to have these prisoners getting released out of these jails. And a lot of them are, you know, total, you know, sickos, man. You got psychopaths out here. Okay, in the beginning of the video, you saw that man. I was chasing him. That was a total psychopath, man. Asking him, did, did he know where Mike was? Who was Mike? He didn't know who Mike was, but he said, do you know who Mike is? You know who Mike is. You know who Mike is. Tell me where Mike is. Tell me where Mike is. You know, you got total lunatics out here that's going to be unleashed. Okay, spirits created for vengeance. It said, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. It was a scene where he was trying to he was trying to leave the city and you had the main road blocked off, you know, and it looked like um, they, they thought it was um, the National Guard, but they wasn't in the uniform. They got, when they got close, they started shooting at him. Okay, we're coming into this type of time. All right. For because of their pride in the cities, Shall be troubled. Hey, the city is gonna be troubled, especially when the lights go off. And I told you in this, in this clip, as soon as the lights went off, you were hearing people screaming outside, man. Okay. And for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. You see, the houses are being destroyed, man. Okay. Houses are being destroyed. They throwing it all, 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 all in the trunk. Okay. They're throwing it all in the trunk. Look, you got Jake peeking through windows. Look like Jake. You know, it says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword. 
destruction and shall destroy their houses with the sword. You break into their house, man, with a weapon and spoil their goods. Coming to get you all your food. Like I said, your food, hey man, you, 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 you know, if you got damn dogs and they, they need some meat, you know, they're they gonna try to eat, they gonna try to eat, eat, eat your pets. He was talking about how after World War II, there were not many um, um, pets around. Why? Because the people was eating them. And he said most people didn't eat their own pets, they ate other people's pets. Okay? And, you know, in return, it's obviously getting their, their uh, pets ate. So we so, so we coming into a serious, serious time, man. Okay? Nothing is promised here. It says, <clears throat> A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So for a lack of bread, because there ain't going to be no food out here, and for great tribulation, people are going to be doing what they got to do, okay? Or what they feel like they got to do. You know, if these people ain't used to going, not eating, they're not used to going on the fast, they're going to lose it, man. And they're going to start losing their minds and they're going to start doing things that they never thought they would do to the point of, um, you know, cannibalism. After all this is, you know, all the food is going and you can't find them a food around, people are going to start eating each other. Okay, um, verse 26, For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivered he them unto death and destruction. So if you sin against the Most High, if you thought the Lord was a game, you know, you, 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 you chose to you know, continue to worship your false gods and your false idols and your false religions and you forsook the Lord, you know, you, you, you forsook hearing his prophets, and the Lord says he's going, to, he's going to deliver you unto death and destruction. And, it, and that, 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 that destruction is going to get delivered unto your house, man. He's going to deliver it to your house. It's going to be this man. You know, a man like this man or many men like, like this man breaking in your house. Okay. All unannounced. Verse 27. And so I keep my voice a little, you know, messed up from camp last night, but we're going to go out. It says, uh, for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and ye shall remain in them. These plagues coming upon the whole earth, not just America. Now America is going to be the worst place to be. Okay. You know. Was the worst place to be, ground zero for total destruction, because, hey, these missiles are going to be hitting America. They're going to completely obliterate America. But before the missiles even hit, it's going to be, um, you know, plagues upon this place, man. They were talking about how they had pestilences, okay? It says, ye shall not, you, ye shall not, ye shall remain in them, for the Most High shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against him. This is why you, Jakes, we tell you to, to repent, to come back to your whole Bashim Shai, because, if not, the Lord's going to, hey, you're going to be destroyed, man. So, like, you're going to be destroyed. All right? Truth be told. Second Ezra 15, verse 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood. Okay? Because what your, your uh, men are going to get put to death. You know, your husband's going to go out trying to find food and they're not coming back home. Okay? I watched the movie when the relatives suggested suggestion. It was called Mother Android. Mother Android, and there's a movie about a woman that got pregnant by a Jake, white woman that got pregnant by a Jake, okay, and it was, and these people had androids in their house, okay, it was like in the future, they had androids in their house as like butlers and stuff, and the androids turned on them and started killing the people, so, you know, they had to run, okay, and then her, her, um, her, you know, the, the, the Jake tried to help her, okay, he, and he was running away, he, he told her to hide over here, I'm, I'm gonna try to lead, lead the androids away. He let he so-called led, led them away, but then he lost his legs. You know, <laughs> he lost his legs, and eventually ended up dying. Okay, so what the Lord said, I will send upon thee widowhood, which means you know, hey, you women are gonna become widows. Okay, you going you're gonna a lot of these men are gonna die, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence. You see, you gonna you gonna get poverty. You are gonna be you know, uh, you know, finally feeling. How, how it feels to be without a lot of you people ain't, ain't, ain't used to suffering man and a lot of you know <laughs> jake hey man we used to suffering but if these people ain't used to suffering man so they're gonna lose their mind it says famine which means a lack of food sword which means destruction you know violence uh and pestilence diseases viruses you know to waste thy houses with destruction and death they're gonna waste your houses with destruction and death man okay with destruction and death. Not, and, I, and, I, and I'm just moving through the spirit, going down to Second Ezra 15, man. And this, is, you know, this is um, you know, some heavy scriptures right here, man. You gotta, you know, you gotta get into into these prophecies, man. The Lord is telling you what's coming. Okay, Second Ezra 15, uh, and 15, verse 56. 
like as thou hast done unto my chosen, saith the Lord, so even so shall the Most High do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. The Lord going to deliver you into mischief. He's going to destroy you. He's he, he going to deliver you into trouble. He's going to cause you to be, be, be led unto your own destruction, man. This is why the Lord lays stumbling blocks for certain folks, man, so they can't get this truth, so you can't be healed. It says, Thy children shall die of hunger. Thou shalt fall through the... Uh, so can, thy shall fall through the sword thy city shall be broken down and all thy thine shall perish with the sword in the field you're gonna get killed you know out there you know trying to you know get some food or something you know you know try, try, trying to flee you know from destruction and destruction is going to find you you know destruction is going to find you the lord is to be feared man call all your whole boss from y'all shy it says they that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and they that and, and, and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood for the very hunger of bread and thirst of water. So they that be in the mountains, those that try to flee the cities, you know, they're going to, in, in, the, in the mountains, they try to flee, you know, the, the, the violence of the cities and, and the disease. You know, they go into the mountains, they're going to die of hunger. Okay, which, which is an even worse death. All right. It says, and eat their own flesh. So they're going to go to eat their own children. Okay. You say, first of all, you say your, your children shall die of hunger, and then you're going to be hungry, so you're going to eat your children, man. Ugh. Serious times are ahead. And drink their own blood. You're going to eat, and there's going to be some point people eating body parts of, parts of their own body. You're going to have to cut, 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 cut your whole arm off, you know, cut your arm off, you know, up to the forearm, you know, to have, you know, uh, you know something to eat, you know. The Lord's going to... Put you people in these type of predicaments, man, where you're going to literally fucking, you know, eat yourself alive, man. What? Because you forsook the Lord. Or you mocked his prophets. You you you, you disrespected his prophets. You, you disrespected the Lord. You sinned against him. You trespassed against him. Okay? So you're going to put you in a predicament where you're going to literally be destroyed, man. And people don't realize that, hey, man, you can literally take off, you know, crickets, you know, certain ants, you know, certain bugs and certain plants. You can eat them. You know, and and and, and, and you know, they, they got better protein and more um nutrition than you know meat. You know, and, and other things that we eat. You know, on a daily basis, you certain things that you want to realize that you can actually eat, and it'll and it'll actually sustain your flesh. But these people are not going to have the knowledge of that. The Lord's not not going to deal with them on that level. They're going to just turn come, come total beast and eat each other. Okay, <laughs> actually eat each other. And this is why the Lord is to be feared, man. Okay, the Lord is to be feared. A time like never before is coming, man. A time like never before is coming. All right. Let me grab this real quick. I brought it out earlier. I'll bring it out again. Um, limitations. Okay, we're coming into many limitations too, Um, by the way. It says... um. <clears throat> Verse Lamentation chapter four verse nine: They that be slain with the sword are better than they that die that be slain with hunger. So it's better to, to end up dying from like getting you know struck by a, a, a bullet, or you know you know you know shanked up or some shit, than to die of hunger, man. Because your body's gonna you know slowly eat itself. You're gonna slowly you know die away in agonizing pain, you know. And if you know you like like a, 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 a your face gonna be all sunken in, you're gonna be all malnutritioned. It says, they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field. You people are going to be pining away. You know, like I said, your bones going to start showing. You know, you have, you know, hope, you know, holes in your cheeks. Look, you know, looking like skeletons, man. You know, for what? Hunger. The Lord's going to cause you, you know, put, 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 put that, 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 that hunger spirit out here, man. It says, in the hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children, and their and they were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people, man. So our amen. Our own women was, you know, sodden, which means to boil, you know, eating their own children. Okay? Eating their own children. Yahweh me Yahshai is to be feared, man. If you don't want to serve Yahweh me Yahshai and repent, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? And, and this, you know, these videos are predominantly to you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. Okay? This, these are warnings unto you to repent, to seek your help your side, or you're going to be destroyed. You heathens, you're already destroyed, man. You're already on your way out. You can forget about it.
All right. Let me grab this real quick. I'm going to close out. I ain't going to make this too long. You know, I'm trying not to make these, these shows too long, you know, quick and, and to the point. This is um Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that whosoever will not seek the power of Yahweh, power of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So if you don't seek Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you're going to be put to death, man. You know, you're going to be put to death, and the Lord is not a respecter of persons. You know, whether you're young or old, you know, hey, this age, hey, hey, destruction is coming, man. If you if you ain't want to see, seek the Lord, truck, don't worry. Destruction, death, and destruction is going to seek you. Okay. If you people going going to be, the Lord said, as, as as a man had fled from a lion and a bear, uh, or a bear and a lion met him. Imagine you running. Imagine you you walk you walk in here and you you know get, you know see a damn a bear, and you you know struggling, rustling. You know, finally get away from 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 the bear, and then you boom, there greets you a lion. Oh shit! Oh shit! Now you gotta get away from the lion. You know, you already tired from the bear. Boom, boom, you get away from the lion, and then you finally make it away from the lion, and you and you, and you, and, and you run into a, a house and you hide. Let me grab that real quick. You know, this is gonna be the last scripture, but bear with me. <clears throat> this is how destruction is gonna be out here, man. Okay. This is how our destruction is going to be out here. Let me grab this real quick. So, yeah. Okay. This is um, Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You people that these Christians say that, oh, I can't wait. To, wait till the Lord come. Wait till you don't know. You don't have no idea who the Lord is, man. You have no idea. You're not gonna see no little, you know, hippie little white boy coming down from, from the heavens, you know, with love and peace and grace for everybody. You know, man. You're gonna see a heavenly, you know, armada, you know, of chariots and you know, great glory and, and, and a magnificent chariot where our Lord is going to be flying upon it. And it's going to be a so-called angry black man. And he said, I shall not meet thee as a man. Okay. Coming with darkness. Even before that, it's going to be darkness on this earth. You know, like a hey, great destruction. You know, the death toll is going to be rising every day. Dead bodies all over the place. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. It went to and went, and went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of Yahweh be darkness and not light? Even very darkness and no brightness in it. That's how bad it's gonna be out here, man. You're gonna be trying to escape death in every single direction, and eventually it's gonna, you know, the Lord's gonna terrorize you, making you think you that you're getting away on some final destination shit, just so for you to ultimately get done in the worst way in the end, man. Okay, so imagine a man, you know, like I say, you, you meet a lion. Yeah, you get away from the lion, then you run into a bear. Oh, I gotta get, you ain't gotta get away from 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 a bear, okay? And then you fall, run into a house, hide in the house, and you lean upon the wall, and a and a poisonous serpent, a poisonous poisonous snake, bites you, and you and her suffering, you know, dying dying away, and no matter what, a death found you, man. But even before death, you was in total fear, you know. That's why the Lord is to be feared. This is why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's going to let this whole world know, you know, that he is not a joke. Shall not the day of Yahweh be darkness and not light, even very darkness, that, and no brightness in it? I hate and despise your feast days. I will no more smell your solemn assembly. So the Lord is pretty much done, man. You know, he is pretty much done. And this is why you're going to see a lot of people get put to death, you know, get, get destroyed out here. Okay, he said you're going to start with, with his people, with his people first. Okay, a lot of these false prophets, these false teachers, these men that's representing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in the wrong way. Now, ain't none of us perfect, but when it comes to this truth, you got to get, you know, damn near close to it, man. When it comes to this doctrine, you got to get damn near close to it. Okay, don't take this truth for granted, man, or this going to be your house getting broken into. Okay, and you and they're defenseless. Okay, because the Lord is not going to defend you. With that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, that's the Wadi, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Give me a chance to do this lesson. All right, praise us with Edifying to the Hopeful Elect. Kwame Asharala, Abad, Babal. Shalom.